Okay, boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly from RealIllusionForum.com as well as AnimatorsForum.com. Uh, I want to do this real quick. Somebody asked, I think they were asking how to bring in iClone characters in Anima. Uh, I'm going to skip over all the failure problems because there, there's a lot of problems that can happen, but I'm going to point them out to you and not go through that. So first of all, here's a character. We don't really want to have the beard because then we'll have a whole bunch of bearded characters in there. I don't really need the scarf. I'm just trying to simplify things. First thing you want to do with the character you bring in is make sure that you uh, reduce the uh, polygons on the object. So you can use the recommended settings or you can lower them even further, but I find the recommended work pretty good for this process. You want to do that for all the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the different pieces. And also the other thing is your clothing has to be exportable. So this came from Daz, so this is no problem. There aren't any DMRs on it. But if you buy something from Real Illusion, you're going to have to have the export rights. Uh, there is a way to get around that, but uh, I won't go into that right at the moment. Um, so we'll just go through this real quick. We're just basically optimizing all this, this stuff here. And one thing you'll find with some characters and I'm, again i'm not going to go through this and show it when it happens but uh it, when, a, when you bring a character into anima somehow it automatically decides whether the uh, arms or legs are need to go in the right direction so if you have a character with long arms it won't work it particularly is a problem with dwarfs and other things like that but even just this normal character and i've already tried this so i know it doesn't work so uh, the arms are just too long for the legs. So what you do is you go into your, uh, your, um, you know, your morphs, and you just go down and adjust your arm length. So this is just I'm going to show you just just adjust it downward. That's okay, and then it won't have that problem. Uh, secondly, you've got to take care of the eyes. So you got to go to the eyes, and you go into the. Uh, hopefully, you have game eyes, and you want the game eyes one UV to apply to there. Uh, that's because the textures will come in like zombies if you don't do that. So you apply that, um, got all that. Now the last thing that you may have problems with is when you start uh, moving this character around, there'll be poke through sometimes. It depends on, you know, the position and the character, but you've seen this before on other characters. Let's see if I can get some, yeah, there's some poke through. Now how we would solve this normally is we would go in and hide the mesh, you know, in iClone and then you could export it, but the hidden mesh won't uh, transfer over to Anima. In other words, the mesh will still show up. So what, what else can you do? Well, you could go into the transform, uh, into the export, and it says there's an option. We go to export here, and you go to uh, FBX is what we're going to do, and it's delete hidden mesh. You can't do that. If you do that, you'll crash Anima. So, so what do we do? How do we get rid of those things? Well, what you have to do is you're going to have to go to the particular outfit it is or particular item it is and increase the size of it so you'll have to you'll have to do that that way remember we're not going to be looking at these characters up close so it doesn't matter too much but and I, I've already found out that you have to do it on the pants too and as we increase the size of the pants the shoes you know buck through so again conform increase the size so that's that's how you would get around all that is just increase the size a little bit okay then we're set so then when you're all done with that, you can uh, go back. You don't have to. It doesn't matter what pose you put them in, but you can go ahead and, and put them in a T pose if you want. And then uh, you go to export file, export. And we're going to export as FBX because we want the clothing character. You don't want to change this to a game character. You might be tempted to change the mesh to a game character. That won't work either. What happens in that case is the eyebrows, or sorry, the eyelashes won't come in properly. And I like to export. It doesn't really matter so much, but 3ds Max works. Uh, most most all of them work. You don't need to include the motion. So you export, and we'll just call it test for right now. Sure. And then uh, once this is exported, we're going to go to Anima. Real simple. And I'm going to bring Anima. It's on my other screen here, but uh, I'm not going to really uh, tell you a lot of stuff about Anima, how to use it, because if you have that program, you really ought to just follow. Their help manuals, but that's how you prepare a character here. So in Anima, here we are. We go to here up here to the uh, switch to the content editing mode, and then we switch down to people, project, and the project. We're going to add, hit, press that add button, and we're going to go in and select the test we just did, and leave all the settings alone. You might say, well, what if the arms come in wrong? Can I turn it off automatic rotation? It still won't work. It still is not going to work. 
I've complained to them about that, and they just they just don't seem to. Uh, now, it'll match a preset if you've already done this once. Otherwise, you're going to have to match up the bones. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to go through that for you. If you want my preset, it's a text file. I can give it to you, and then you'll have that. Or you can just match up the bones. It's real simple. You just, again, it's in the Anima manual, so you'll... Uh, you'll be able to do that. And I might stop this because it does take a while to, to go through. So I might catch you on the flip side. We'll see. Uh, the other thing that's going to happen after we after we actually finally import this. Well, one other thing you might get. We won't get it with this character, I don't think. But it might warn you about waiting, that there's too much uh, waiting going on with the skin. I don't remember if you get it here or not. If it warns you about that, you want to uh, basically say no there isn't a no here, though. There's only a yes. So what you do in Anima is you just click the X button, which is basically their version of no. Uh, it's a little disconcerting, but that's how you that's how you say no in Anima. But you do want to say no. You don't want to try to re-wait wait that if that dialog comes up, because uh, otherwise you're going to have a lot of problems. And we will see what happens here. Hopefully it'll come up pretty soon. Yeah, here we go. That's exactly what the skin optimization is. There is no no here, so but we want to click X here because we do not want to optimize the skin. That will also blow up uh, this character. So that's another reason. So that's good. I'm glad that came up. So now I may cut away and we may cut back to when the character finally comes in. Okay, well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave it alone. Okay, that doesn't take too long. Then I close it. And then the last thing we need to do with this character, the last thing that has to be done uh, when we finally come up with this, is uh, it's hard to tell because you can't zoom in here, but the eyelashes here are not marked as transparent. So you have to go in here to Edit Materials, and go to the eyelash, and change that. Now watch the eyelashes, and you'll see... They actually did get a lot better. It's hard It's hard to tell from this because we're not zoomed in. Uh, you can also edit the other materials, but otherwise you're all set. That's, that's your character. You just save it out, and that's all there is to it, to use your characters, and then you can have them, uh, you know, save the library changes. I shouldn't have done that because that's going to take a while. But, but anyway, then you can use these characters in Anima and, of course, export them back into iClone any way you want. So... Uh, Hopefully that uh, solves all those problems for you, and I will see you guys on the forum. If you have any other questions, be sure to let me know. I will be glad to uh, answer them for you. I was hoping I could keep talking long enough for this guy to start dancing. He will dance in a moment, I'm sure of it. And there he goes. He's dancing. Dun, dun. Okay, all right. See you guys later. <laughs>